All right, Carl. We, we, I know we don't see eye to eye on this one, Definitely but not. I happen to think this is pretty cool. This whole, you know, touch and it goes on, touch and it goes off. And, you know, from what I understand, you know, people, I know you think they should just learn how to turn their faucets off, but yeah. if they don't turn it off after a minute, it so shuts so. itself off. And quite honestly, if I'm working with food, I kind of like the fact that I can do that. Yeah, I, I, I like the idea. I think it's a cool product, but there's two things that I have trouble with. It's got batteries, which, you know, tend to be wasted. This is true. Um, this they're is wasteful. True. And I, it's just this whole thing. It's like, why do people? Why can't people be responsible? Why can't we turn stuff off? Turn it off. Why okay. do we? Why do we have to take? Oh, so we'll, this don't is like worry, a lazy we'll, solution. Don't worry, we'll turn it off for you. Okay. Well, what about this one? This one's cool. This one, you don't touch it. You just get close to it, and it turns itself on half a gallon per minute. That's good. And it runs I like for that. eight seconds and turns itself off. I, I like that. But this again, is perfect. Yeah, Kids' but, bathrooms, powder rooms. Yeah, it's okay. But again, you know, this is just get, this is getting me too hot. I'm stressed out. I gotta go cool off under one of these great one and a half gallon showers. One and a half gallons. There yeah. you go. Hell is Michael. Oh, there you are. So, what you thinking about, man? Carl. What's going hey. on? This is amazing. I'm, I'm in the Kohler booth here. I have to sit down and process this. So, Check this what out. Process. They've got a one piece, 1.28 gallon per flush toilet, which is cool, right? I mean, I'm, I'm on the dual flush toilet. Uh, you know how much I love the dual flush I like, toilets. I like dual flush. Kohler's good. finally got one. It's in this funky matte finish, but this is what's really cool. Check yeah, this out. This? What's this? Come what over here. What do we got? Pressure oh, assist. Those things are so loud, they're like an explosion. I know, it's like a rocket ship, right? Yeah, you go in yeah. the bathroom and it, and it freaks yeah, you out. But I hate them. What, what's going on? Listen to this. You ready? Yeah. Where's that microphone? Ready? Okay, here's the microphone. That's amazingly quiet. That's I'm, quiet. I'm impressed. That's crazy. One gallon to flush toilets. One gallon. We can put these in people's houses now. That's great. That's I'm going to give this, I got to give this a B plus. Absolutely, yeah. Awesome. Doesn't wake people up in the middle of the night. Exactly. Cool. Awesome. Great. I'm going to be here for a minute. We've just been talking about this product for the last 10 or 15 yeah, minutes we, here. We learned a lot about this thing. Really yeah. trying to dig into it. It's pretty cool. Rima's got this new uh, heat pump hot water heater. It's right. the first electric hot water heater that has an Energy Star label. That's Which cool. is great. Absolutely great, yeah. But like you pointed out, you know, resistance heating, you typically don't put an Energy Star label on it because it's roughly 100% efficient, except that electricity, you lose 80% in transmission, so it's really 20% right. efficient. The benefit of this, of course, this heat pump, has a coefficient of two. Which so twi twice as efficient as a standard electric exactly. resistance water heater. Right. Exactly. But what yeah. we did determine was it sounds like this is really designed for hot, muggy climate, and, and that is unconditioned space, right? Right. It, it works really well. It's most efficient when you're going to put it in a basement or a garage or even an attic that's not conditioned in a, in a hot climate, because it's going to be very efficient in that case because it works almost exclusively under the heat pump. In colder climates or with in-conditioned space, it's going to be more resistance heating. Still more efficient than a regular resistance heater, but right. not quite as efficient. And I think the, about one and a half times as efficient. Right. And, and the difference is, is that yeah, is even in humid climates, we're moving more towards having everything in conditioned space. Well, you made a really good point, and, and we're trying to build everything tight and ventilate it and, and control all of that. And that you're in a hot, muggy climate, but all your mechanicals are in a dry, semi-conditioned space. Exactly. So you lose some of the efficiency, you bump down yeah. to so, so in a retrofit where you've got unconditioned attics or unconditioned garages, this actually is a great product. Yeah. It, it fits the bill. I'm going to say niche product. Yeah. I'm going to say B for niche product. Yeah, I agree with that. Now, what was that thing? Oh, there's, there's only one maintenance thing. There's a filter one on, maintenance There's thing. a filter on top. You want, can you get it for me? Uh, you mean this, Michael? It's the, oh, you, have, you have to clean this filter every once in a while. That's it. I can do it. Okay, I yeah, really yeah. Do it. Try, keep trying. Oh, 